When's your birthday? June 6th. Okay. Call me a soju man. Let me call you Luna. Because of the opals. <laughs> what? And the nunas. Oh, oh! <laughs> Wait, what made you think they are nunas though? So you also know that young. Yellow. Yeah, <laughs> A lot of people also watch it because you cannot get the love that they have. You know? Yeah, it's, exactly. That's me. Oh shit, can you now? make wow, other shows? I cannot like, choose I anymore. Need to think. My favorite is Nam Joo Hyuk. Oh, Ooh. serious? I think my actress is IU. Actor, I also like the manlier guys. Maybe it's like Gong Yu or the Hyun Bin. My favorite actress is Kim Terry. Ah, oh. ah, okay, then I like actor, can act very well, kind. So I like Jisung. Okay, I don't know. Na. I know, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Please put a photo, then we can watch. <laughs> so my favorite actor is Park So Jun. Okay, I'm going to talk to him. Every drama you are inside, I will watch. I even watched the variety show where he went overseas to like cook in a restaurant with other actors. <laughs> okay. I think it's the same as her. No. One, Yo, two, Kim three. Wait, Wait Lifting Fairy, fairy Kim Bok Ju. <laughs> See, I finished the drama name. Wait, Lifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju. That was so hey, awkward. <laughs> Mine is very basic. Mm. Like Vincenzo. Oh. Just cause it's wacky, it's yeah, out there. Yeah. If I want the serious one, then I can give a shout out to Sky Castle. Oh, oh, oh. shit. That's them good. Okay, in recent times, right, okay, everything that Kim Terry is in. <laughs> everything. Okay. 20, oh, 20. 5, 21. Oh, yes, and yes, yes. Mr. Sunshine. Actually, I like Hometown Cha Cha Cha. So. Which one is your favorite? You only can choose one. Wait, Fairy. My second favorite is Itaewon class. <laughs> 25, 21. Woo! Vincenzo. Wow, what a range okay. of dramas. Yeah, man. I can't choose I a can't dish because eh, it's an experience every time you eat Korean food. <laughs> That's true. Really? KBBQ, legit. Yes. It's not just the pork, it's not just the beef. It's You just brought us on a journey. Eh? <laughs> okay. It is a journey. Eh? It is, I know. Oh. For the next 72 hours, you guys will only be eating food from your favorite Korean drama. Yeah. Oh, I think easy. You all easy. think easy? Easy. Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah, Wait, lifting fairy. Keep eating Woo! on it, yeah. that one. Oh, so oh yeah, you're damn lucky. Eh. This episode is in collaboration with Sole, which offers affordable premium Korean barbecue to classic <gasps> Korean dishes. You guys can head down to any five of their outlets to feast like your Korean drama idols. Oh my god. Can I just say, I'm not saying this because it's an ad. I freaking love Sole. Can you pronounce properly like Sole. How, how the producer pronounce? Sorry. <laughs> I freaking love Sole. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's damn nice, you know, because there's one near my place at Tampanese Mall. The takeaway, uh, not just the meat, okay, they got the egg at the side. I and all their side dishes are nice. You're gonna be damn happy. Wow, I'm so excited. You never eat before? No. Never. You are in for a treat. Okay. Wow. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. So Ray, out of all the chain like K barbecue restaurants, right? This uh. is my favorite. Apart from Korean barbecue, so Ray has other dishes that look freaking delicious. So we are going to order our food. Ultimate mix set. Sumibu jjigae, jjajangmyeon, naengmyeon. What's special about this barbecue place is they use charcoal to grill. So it's really nice. The egg, the egg. After it cooks for I think like 15 20 minutes, what you get is like this fluffy egg custard thing that is damn nice to taste of melon. Pop skirt, everybody. Oh. So three more minutes, you can dip in the meat. Donato's very fresh. The garlic is fresh. The meat is tender. You should try the wagyu. Wow. We overcooked it a bit because we were busy with like photos and stuff like that. But it's still so soft. Oh my god. So meat, a bit of sauce. I feel like this is not the authentic way but I want to pile as many things as possible. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna have some naengmyeon, which Miss Brenza behind cannot have, although she likes it. Mm. 
I think we're gonna go home and sleep later. Oh, I'm so happy. Take you on. The handsome lad was eating a burger at a very swanky fast food restaurant. So here's the burger. A little fancy for my usual liking. The beef a bit tough. Oh my god, the food looks so good. Episode 8 right, they actually sat together yeah. and then they ate another one. And like Chang Siu, but that one them dry, so they have some. So I got them to give it to me without the sauce. I think this is how we make like, usually this is how they make it, right? So good. I love the food, I love Korean food. Someone's birthday and I got a free cake, which I was afraid that I couldn't eat, but episode 1 of Vincenzo, the lead actress's first scene. She was pushing a damn big cake, baby. Hong Cha Yong, come sa Time check, it's now 8 pm, and I am still very, very, very full from the sorry lunch. I got my mum, Miss Porris, to bring me an apple from home. Thanks, Porris. I think the grandson was peeling apples for the granny in the hospital. It's probably like one of the rare healthy foods that appeared. I'm cherishing this. I was googling and I found like loach soup here. <laughs> this is the loach that they pick up from the kitchen room. So tang, tang did you say? Correct? Yes! <laughs> okay, this is the chotang. Apparently in the show, the smart girl was saying that I think no very nice loach soup right? Which means ah, uh, it's not that nice lah. Uh. I don't know, I feel lah. Uh. It smells a bit funky. <laughs> However, I cannot find any roach or whatever you call it. Doreen said that maybe it disintegrated into the soup. Basically, it's like someone took a lot of ikan bilis and pounded it real hard and that become like very thick and rich soup. I just got battered by the rain so I'm a little bit frustrated and you know what else is gonna get battered? <laughs> Chicken. Can you hear this ASMR? Ooh. The rest today, my meals revolved around the Kion's meals. <laughs> they add something called bongo pang, but the only place I know I can get the fish shaped red bean pancake is Takashimaya. <laughs> Personally, I prefer the fish shaped one because the fish shaped one tends to be a bit crispy. And also something else I always see them eat. Kim Bok Ju's friend, she seems to have like this obsession over the sausage. <laughs> the pinnacle of processed meats. I'll give you a solid 2 out of 10. There's this particular episode towards the end where Park Bogum appears. He cooked this seafood marinara tomato based pasta. I don't think I'm breaking the rules here because this pasta is tomato based. I really like Diwong class because the focus of the drama is not on the love line but more of the tenacity. Everyone deserves second chances and like bad guys should die. Please leave a comment down below if you also like Diwong class and also let me know what is your favourite Korean drama. Episode 5, Vincenzo was eating a hot dog. The American style right but he was scraping away the ketchup and mustard. So the closest thing I can get for an affordable price is a hot dog bun. Mm. We'll go here, brother. I'm gonna order this. Ooh, exactly what the, the two boys ordered, right? I'm actually legitimately excited to try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm loving this challenge. Hello, it is me again. She made a sandwich for her BB. It was bread with cream cheese and strawberries and honey. Because I'm not making for my boyfriend like she is, I'm gonna make it ugly, sorry. That's too much. Oh shit! Question, do you think I should air fry my onigiri? Okay la, I think better not. Time for lunch. Time for lunch. Mm. That's the feeling! No trypophobia. King Bok Ju, you got this. There is a scene where the prosecutors are talking over Chinese meal. So I'm here at Cai Fan store. K drama got Cai Fan one, man. Yo, it's Tang Su Yu. Mm. Uh, then got a Chap Che Wannabe, Curry Ya Che. Uh, best yeah. ever. Anyhow, come up with my own names. <laughs> uh, this is the best Cai Fan around here, man. No regrets. 
Even if I have to do a punishment at the end of the challenge. Just come lah, whatever lah. This is real weird. It's very, it's like literally like minty. Okay, so if you are like my love interest and stuff, um, do not put this drink in my locker, okay? I'm actually at Tanjong Paga area and everyone knows that Tanjong Paga area is like the Korea town of Singapore. I know a lot of restaurants here are closed and only open at like 5 plus. I'm just gonna find a random place and eat by myself. Let's go. The food is good. And you know what makes it even better? It's raining outside. Although the restaurant is empty, there's still the staff and other people eating. So I don't get to talk too loudly and I don't get to talk too much. My deep fried chicken dessert is here. The exact dish was uh, stir fried chicken dessert, but this restaurant didn't have stir fried chicken dessert. So I just Google what chicken dessert is. It's the ventriculous or gastric meal. What is that? Pork. Feels a bit like you are biting into soft bones. Wow, 10 out of 10 will order this again. Oh my god, people coming in. Today's dinner, wow, really took me on another adventure, man. I tried to get roasted sweet potatoes, the shop was closed. Look for salmon sashimi. A bit too expensive, so I changed my mind. So I eventually settled on convenience store, Jampong, which is squid flavored spicy seafood stew with noodles. The satisfaction of slurping it up in the middle of the night is so good, you know. This is some beef steak with uh, garlic herb, butter, and black pepper sauce or something like that. This steak is so tough that I bet it can overcome more difficulties than I can. Makoli, oh my god. Please try makgeolli if you haven't already. Very difficult to describe what it is, except some kind of a rice wine. So far, the challenge has honestly been pretty easy. I make it a bit tougher for myself by trying to find more affordable alternatives to the dishes that I want to eat. La. So I'm here at MBS, but yeah, MBS food is too this, expensive. This, this guy cannot afford. Can I? He can afford. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go to Suntec and we're probably going to have pizza. I'm having pizza. Thank you, Kim Bong for eating all sorts of rabbits. And I ordered fried chicken with the pizza. Um, and it sucks. I'm sure bok chicken is much nicer, although it is imaginary. <laughs> I'm at a Korean mart now, and I still cannot find my banana milk. Okay, I guess I will get this brand there. At least it's Korean banana milk. I think you're gonna have to drink it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, you dream, right? Went home one day, right? And then she went home to a mountain of fried chicken. No, 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 Today's breakfast is much simpler. I'm just having an iced Americano as featured in episode 4. This is also more affectionately known as Kopi Wo Kosong Ping. Zen Bai for you. You hear that? Zen Bai. And Zen rarely comes back to the office, but I cannot eat. No, I cannot. <laughs> Banana milk. I'll recommend this banana milk to anyone. Yeah. This is the one you get in Korea and it's damn shook. I feel a bit happier now that I can find it in Singapore, but then like a lot of 420s. Yeah. A few of the episodes, Park Seo Yi got cooked stir fried pork in the pot. When I was about to make the order, I realized the place don't sell pork. I hope this is not cheating. It is, it's no, cheating, she's cheating. <laughs> Everybody is drinking bubble tea. But 
first meal of the day and honestly so far, has it really been a challenge? No. Last time! Wow, Banchan Bar! It's so big eh. Yeah, that's why. I thought this is the newest outlet. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I think it's number 5. That means they have 4 other outlets already. This is the 5th. Wow, it looks so good and juicy. Mm. It's the pork skirt, right? But there's a subtle sweetness. Then a char from the barbecue, wow. If you are someone who don't really like too fatty stuff, mm. then you can go for Wow, cute! Wow, 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 inside still pink, yo! Oh my god. Sorry, when I look like I'm in pain, right? Means the food good. I'm gonna make a wrap. The Wagyu beef, oh my god. No time for glam with KBBQ, man. If you want a good flavor, this is it. I've never eaten the lettuce with meat because I don't like vegetables. The girl who hates veggies, but she said her painful face is a good thing. We've eaten the lettuce with meat, like onion and red sauce. I will eat another one. Yeah. Shit, can you believe it? Shit, I can't believe what I said. When's your birthday? June 6th. Okay, call me a soju man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want me to call you Luna? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> While she's filming more down there, I'm gonna cook more wagyu. Wow! With the melted cheese on all. Fish cake, yeah. Fish cake, yeah. The sauce is spicy and sweet, and the top is so nice and chewy. Oh, it's exactly what you want for top of here. It's time for the mandu. It's like cheese and corn inside this mandu. <laughs> I'm sorry. We just want to show you our glorious meal. Meanwhile... Ah! Oh my god, I see on TikTok before they can spread it like damn nicely. I don't know how they do it. Ah! My one month old bagel with one day old cream cheese. Ooh, very hot. This challenge is quite easy. All the things that she eats, I also eat. I know there's a 7 Eleven nearby. I'm gonna go in and get Shin Ramyeon and kimchi. The fridge got no kimchi. Usually, if I eat instant noodles, right, I'll get Hanjuku eggs, but I can't today. So I've asked, there's indeed no kimchi, but I do know that in episode 1, um, Park Seroi was confessed to by a girl and the girl gifted him with chocolates. I have never tried this before and I think I'm gonna get this. Ending the challenge with a bang! Comment down below if you are team hot noodles. I'm hot though. You are hot though? No. Hot. Hot. Ah. Not hot. <laughs> you know in Korea when they ask you to eat ramen at the place, right? Oh yeah, it means like Netflix and chill. Can I eat ramen at my place? I'm not okay, bye, no, bye bye. Yeah, I'm not your target audience. <laughs> It looks like this, and there's like M&M bits inside. Oh my god, yes! Perfect thing to end of this meal. Dinner time! So in episode 10, when the smart girl tries to bribe, she actually bribes with a Korean meal with 5 side dishes. Firstly, the spam and egg. And frying the egg. Dinner is served. Hamburger. <laughs> Leftover because I clearly cannot finish. And my dad is eating it. Is it nice? Good. Five star <laughs> Cooking is so tiring. But this is dessert. Mm. I'm finally eating Italian food just like Vincenzo did. E delizioso. I'm on a quest to find dessert after this. Okay, I finally got my dessert and it's Melona ice cream. So difficult to find, I had to buy a whole box from FairPrice. Hands down or hands up, my favorite Korean ice cream. This is a good night, everybody. Mm. So it is now day four of the challenge. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm not filming the outro with the others because I have a bit of a sore throat. So I decided not to go to the office 
in case I infect the rest of the people. Concluding my 72 hour challenge with antibiotics. It was great eh, honestly. Mm. Same. Because actually the producer got say right, y'all can talk about your thoughts yeah. uh, along the challenge. I got As if like say. it's very difficult right, then I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> then I really tried hard to suffer. <laughs> but I never at all. The challenge was actually really really easy because the characters in the show, they're all weightlifters so they eat a lot and there's a lot of variety of food that they feature in the show. Do you still love the Korean drama that you chose? Yes! Mm -hmm. Of course! Yeah. It didn't affect anything. What? One like minor complaint yeah. is that I realised got no veggie in my diet. A bit hitty lah. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's why Amanda is not here. <laughs> oh my, wow! She got such... <laughs> Throw her under the bus. I still love weightlifting fairy. It has not been dethroned for the last six years. I can watch it like 10 times and I'm not sick of it because it's such a few good drama. Will you guys still eat Korean food? Yes! Oh, yes. yes! What the? Oh my god, I can't catch it Yeah. <laughs> yes! Of course. Yeah! Wow. Hey, I make him for me as Roju, eh? Because he's oh, younger, yeah. so. Wow. Yeah, Nuna, eh? I see. Wow. <laughs> so at Sori, right, the waiter came and asked, like, do you want any drinks? Do you want your cook? I have a drink. Did they drink oh. Yakut Soju in the, in the show? Oh! Oh. Uh, Amanda also said, okay, eh, we still like cheers until we're happy. Eh. Uh, Amanda said Yakult in her show. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god! What the heck? <laughs> Accidentally! <laughs> eh. Actually, Mommy, I thought we also got cheap. You all say Papi now? Papi not here. Wait, wait, wait. wait say now. I'm gonna wait, tell wait, wait. now! <laughs> okay, now that everybody's out of the room, right? Mommy and I also got Xiao Chit. The Xiaori, the. We were there right for lunch right? then we, the Sunubu GK really looked damn inviting. Yes, yeah. Do you think if we drink one mouth, it's can or not? Cheat la! <laughs> <laughs> no, I also like... drink one sip of the soju. <laughs> you should no, you try one sip. No, I try yeah. three cups. <laughs> one, two, three. Cheaters! We have spoonful of gochujang with crushed pepper. We love Korean, Korean food. food. Cheers. Mm. Jan. Oh my god. Why wow. am I blowing it like a soup? Okay, ah? <laughs> ready? Oh! Don't leave it in your mouth, it's suffering there. It's not lollipop. <laughs> My usual place is like one of those cheapo places where the cuts of meat is not exactly the best. But having tried sorry, I think I'll go for the wagyu beef again. That was the best. And their side dishes also nice. Favourite part about sorry, right, is the egg on the grill. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. when you cook the meat, the oil drip into the egg. Yes. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the egg inside is soft one eh? My favourite meat was the wagyu beef. Ah! Of course. Hey, me and Amanda eat, we like went to another universe eh? Yes. Got a tteokbokki, did you all try that? Oh, oh, we didn't. Oh my god. Wow, that one is crazy. Oh, that one I'll try before. Next On time I try. Eh? Nice yeah. ah. You should try. I should have eaten more lah. Actually, yes, yeah, since, we know, spoon, since we know we're gonna do the punishment, might as well eat more. Might as well finish the whole yeah. sunubu Because the sunubu put there really look damn nice. Thank you, Sorry, for making this video possible. Check out here for an exclusive Sorry promo for our ebook fans. Don't forget to head down to Sorry's newest outlet at Compass One and also there are four other outlets around Singapore to savour all the food we've tried. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book 72 Hours Challenge. If you like this video, you can watch all our other videos over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Now this is my next 72 Hours Challenge. <laughs>